So at first glance, this guy just appears to be like your average Joe, right? He moved to New Mexico to retire. He rides a Harley as a hobby. It seems pretty normal. But this guy has a job you'd never know about that happens just once a year. There's a chance you might even recognize him. We went to his place to discover why he demonstrates the heart of New Mexico. There are more jackets back in there. Michael Lefebvre <laughs> wears many jackets. It's got my patches on it. What else have I got? In the summertime, I'm wearing a mesh jacket. You might see him out on the road. I, uh, since I've been a kid, uh, I've loved vehicles with flames on them. This Harley riding New Mexican loves the wide open West. It's. <laughs> It sounds trite, but it's the land of enchantment. But he's a man who wears more than leather. And his love extends beyond his bike. You may not recognize him. The off the border collie has never won best in show. There's a chance you might have heard his voice. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the seven group winners competing for best in show at the 142nd Westminster Dog Show. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the complexity of my personality. For more than 20 years. I have to know what all the breeds are. He has been the show announcer for one of the longest running sporting events in the country, the Westminster Dog Show. We have dogs like Petit Basset Griffon, Vendéon, or we have the Niederlands or Coquahunja. He admits know, it's a little know. strange considering. She was the dog person. I was never the dog person. It was his wife, Carla, that got him into it. Uh, when she was showing, uh, my official job was I was the driver. I schlepped the crates around. I picked up after the dogs. Um, I helped her groom the dogs. Um, that was my job, okay? Didn't take an awful lot of expertise to do that. And along came their championship dog, Manor Hill, Molly Molly. Um, I once said to somebody, they will take um, all the money you ever earned and all the time you have to be involved in showing dogs. In less than two weeks, Michael will head back to New York to call the only live televised dog show in the country. But Carla will not be there. Both her doctor and I noticed that she was having trouble with words. It was Alzheimer's disease. Uh, hardest thing I ever did in my life. In 2019, Carla died, just days after their 50th wedding anniversary. Um, and it was hard to go alone, you know, after all those years of, of going with uh, her. Uh, but, uh, but I love doing the show. I love seeing the people there. I love working with the people. Whether it be on a bike or among the dogs. Oh yeah, I get involved in a lot of a lot of different things. He says what keeps him going is people. My interest is in people, my interest is, is the folks he'll meet around the corner. You can look out for Lefebvre during the Westminster Dog Show when it starts on Monday, May 8th. And also, we love to hear your ideas for Heart of New Mexico stories. <laughs> uh, you can email me at heartofnm at kob.com to share your submission. This story, by the way, came to us via Steve Stucker. Of uh, course. Yeah, he's got, he, yeah, he's got some connections in this community. I was going to say, Harley, retired, dogs. Dogs. Sounds familiar? That's Steve. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.